What is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode. We are taking a look at the best right wingers in Dream Team for all budgets here. So we're going to be kicking off with our budget choice. If you've missed any of the previous episodes, make sure and check them out. But for now, we're going to be starting with our budget choice and then working our way through to Messi, who we will see at the end. So first up, we've got Quintero. Now, this guy is playing for Universitario, I think the name of the team is. So apologies, he's in the other American teams as far as I know. Really nice stats, 4,700 GP. There's a lot of players at this price point, you know, under 5,000 GP. Some will have good speed, some will have good dribbling. The guys you're going to want to look for are guys that have, you know, speeding bullet or amazing run or incisive run. Boost them up to like mid 70s, low 70s or high 70s, depending on how much tra training you, that you've guys got built up. And have him as a super sub. Have him as coming on. That's just a dependable guy that you can depend on. For under 5,000 GP, you're not going to be getting game changers. But this is the pick of the bunch. Next up, we have got a Salvi from Cadiz. Now, this guy's stats are ridiculous for 10,000 GP. Number one, he's got unwavering form, which will mean that his player form errors are more up than down. And he's also only 10,000 GP, as I mentioned. He's got cross specialist, which is a rarity for wingers in the game in terms of having speed plus crossing. Usually the crossers have like less speed uh, to kind of balance that up. But this guy's kind of a bit of a, a bit of a hidden gem. He's also, I think, one of the best speedsters, dribblers slash uh, balance guys in the game as well with some stamina. And he can play right mid as well. So you can play him a little bit more defensively depending on how you train him as well. Next up, we have got Saar from Watford in the Premier League. So again, this guy is an out and out winger. I've talked about and I've spoken to a lot of people that say you do need to make a choice to have, unless you're going to be spending 500 plus thousand GP or 300 thousand GP on the best players in the game, which will have a combination of speed and dribbling stats if you're looking for a winger or defensive stats if, and speed if you're looking for a center back or so on. You do need to make a choice into what type of player that you're looking for. If you're looking for an outright speedster, Sar fits the bill. He's 23 years of age, fits into young squads. He's got all the player skills that you could possibly need to beat a man on the wing and get crosses in, pinpoint crossing. He's also got heel trick and rising shot for a threat there. Next up, we have got Bruce Banner himself, the incredible Hulk. Right wing forward, deep line forward, he can play. The Brazilian 35-year-old is an absolute beast of a player. 78 overall. He's got lovely physical contact. He's kind of a kind of a guy to throw in when you're struggling, or maybe that you're you're kind of struggling to find a way forward. And he's like 51,000 GP. He's got good dribbling stats, he's got good finishing, he can play up front anywhere. He's got 84 kicking power. So if you if you get a shot on target, this guy is is very close to a cheap Adriano from Pez Six Days. He's just going to be able to bang him in with that left foot of his. Really good player as well, and quite fast for a 35-year-old, 74 speed. Next up, we've got Anthony. So I had a different player in here. Um, for a budget option, I think I think his name was Paulinho or, or Paulinho or something like that, but he was way cheaper, but he had a lot of similar stats. But the more and more people I talked to about this guy, Anthony from Ajax, the more and more people were telling me this guy is insane, right? Now, the one thing I will say about him is his form is inconsistent. So that's something to watch for. That was kind of why I was hesitant to put him in. But the people I've talked to have said that he's actually that good that he's so good that he's worth taking a punt that his player arrow will be up every now and again. He is that good, and he's 21 years of age. He's got so many player skills, and he's got the perfect dribbling speed, acceleration, tripod as well. Kiesa, 260,000 GP. We're getting into the, the, to the big boys now, as we like to say. I think this guy, for bargain for your buck, or yeah, buck, bang for your buck, not bargain for your buck, sorry lads. This guy at 260,000 GP. He is probably the perfect winger, right? So he's got unwavering form. He's got all the stats you could possibly want. He's got loads of, um, you know, he's got super sub. He's got loads of really good player skills. He's got really nice player ID. 80 speed, 81 acceleration. You can get them up into the high 80s for all his main stats. And he can play literally anywhere in the forwards apart from center forward. Nice height, nice speed, nice age. Perfect. Now, Messi... Messi is a million, right? He's over a million. He's 1.1 million GP. So this this is a this is only going to speak to a couple of people that have been lucky enough to get Messi or lucky enough to pack him or lucky enough that they have that amount of GP from playing the game for so much and just have decided haven't decided what to spend the, the money on yet. They're deciding will they get Messi. I mean Messi's player ID alone I think makes him one of the top five players in the game. He's just low center of gravity. He can beat people with ease with the double touch and the dip and shot makes him a threat from outside the box as well. Stick on captaincy on him and max him out and you'll have one of the best players in the game. 
I would play him as an attacking midfielder. That's why he's kind of a bit of a bit of a strange choice here for me. But Salah is probably more of an out and out striker. So I've repeated myself throughout this video that you have to make a choice sometimes that whether you want a player that's really good in his position. So for example, Messi is all about passing and moving, ball control, dribbling. And when the ball comes to him, it sticks to his foot. He's not a speedster. Then you've got Salah, who's a kind of a speedster. You know, you can get him up to 90 speed very, very easily with a bit of training. But he doesn't have the low pass. He doesn't have the lofted pass. And he doesn't have the dribbling skills of Messi. Now, you can train them all up. That kind of makes it irrelevant. But I think for base and their players and like how people are using them and stuff, that matters as well. Because at the end of the day, the players are just the players. In the right hands, they can be lethal. Now, we're going to take a look on eFootballDB.com and have a look at the comparisons. So... We do have a Messi version here that is the base version of Messi. Now, forget about his player level and his max overall and all that. That still needs to be implemented. But there is different versions of Messi going to be coming. So this is like a legend edition of Messi, um, which would have been, I'm not too sure what season it would have been from. But if you hover over these, you don't need to click into anything. It's a really nice feature. You can hover over and you'll see the changes of stats. You can also go in and compare the players. So we're going to compare Messi's base player card versus Salah's base player card. Now, Salah's going to get a special edition as well. You'll already have seen that in other videos um, and by now. But if you just look at their base stats, right, and you're talking about, right, they're similarly priced at a million, over a million GP. So it's only for the real GP millionaires that are out there. Like, this is what I'm talking about. You look at, at Salah's stats, it's, it's speed. That's what you're favoring here. It's speed versus power. And, you know, all the mobility and versatility. You're looking with Messi. It's more about being a complete playmaker, playing through Messi, you know, touching and going, being able to shoot from distance, finesse shot, all that sort of stuff. So it's a, it is a choice that you need to make. And you need to make that choice with every position in eFootball at the moment. Unless you're going to go out and have a team of legends or a team of feature players that have, you know, you've got a centre back that's got 90 defensive aggression, defensive engagement, all that stuff, and he's got, you know, 85 speed. Then you don't need to make the decision between speed and power or speed and defence. But if you are looking to build a squad, you need to look at that. And that's very important. So, yeah, lads, that is it for the right wingers. Make sure and let me know who else, guy, what other players you guys are using. And let me know if you're enjoying these videos. We will be back quite soon to finish off this series with a couple of more positions. Check out the other videos if you haven't already. I've been the Midnight Kid. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.